Welcome, John Kindervag. 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 We'll try that again. I should know because yeah. this is actually the fourth time that you are on the um, Bright and Cloudy event. The only speaker to have been featured four times in a row. And uh, it must have been an exciting week for you because I read that um, the, the FBI has uh, featured a report in which they said that zero trust is the way to go to protect the government agencies. That must have been uh, quite a nice morning read for you. Yeah, it was uh, the Ho U.S. House of Representatives in the wake of the Office of Personnel Management breach investigated it and their recommendation as a result of their investigation was that government entities should adopt zero trust as their primary security methodology. So that's very, very gratifying to see that uh, somebody like uh, a very powerful committee in the United States House of Representatives gets what we've been doing for a long time. And we spoke last year and last year, the week before you did your talk here, uh, the CTO of Google had actually made such a remark. So you're going places, huh? Uh, well, I hope so. Okay. Um, getting back to uh, Zero Trust, um, Onto it was one of the really the first companies in, in, in Europe to to embrace the zero trust concept as a, as a security firm and to really ingrain it in, in everything they do, their, their philosophy. Maybe it's nice if you could reflect a little bit from the outside on how you see the evolution and the development of, of, of companies such as such as Onto it in how they've worked with, with zero trust in the past four years. There's, there's been an evolution. How, how would you typify that evolution and how they put it in practice? Well, you know, what's interesting is uh, Antwit has really made the Netherlands the epicenter of zero trust worldwide. They were really the first of the, of the companies who weren't a vendor who understood what I was doing. And, uh, and unbeknownst to me, they were doing all this stuff. And when I came out here, I was amazed by how m m big of an adoption of zero trust there was here. And, and uh, Liwa tells me it's because it just makes sense to the Dutch people the way that the, the dike systems work and just the, the the culture here is different than other places that I go to in the world and, and people are more willing to try new things compared to other parts of the world where they're very stuck in the past. So I think that that's a, a very big testament both to Antwit and to to the Dutch themselves. So and if they start early, they must have learned more oh, also. Yeah, I mean, it's clearly uh, what what's being done with Antwit is on the cutting edge of, of zero trust integration, uh, the managed services portal, all that stuff is is really groundbreaking compared to everybody else. So I wish all the other service providers in the world would, you know, take a, a little bit of a lesson from Marcel and Liwe and say, hey, we should do what they're doing. Good. Well, that's good to hear. Um, one thing that, that struck me is that, um, of, of course, uh, firms, service providers and companies such as Antwit has been, have been integrating the products of uh, partners, Palo Alto Networks, Brocade, uh, um, VMware. And, and bringing them to their own customers, but there seems to be a trend, at least with, with Antwit, that you also need to develop your own products, such as conceptual frameworks and, and managed portals to, to actually integrate all these vendor offerings. What's your take on that? Well, I think it's, it's important that there's a lot of you know, pieces of the puzzle that are available to people, but you have to have somebody who understands how the puzzle is supposed to look at the end and has the ability to put the pieces together. And that's what people like Antwit do, is, you know, you could go out and you could maybe acquire the technologies independently, but could you put them together in a, in a conceptual whole that really solves a lot of your business problems? That's a much harder challenge. And so that's why there's so few people doing uh, what Antwit is doing right now. Right. And and on your own role, uh, four years ago, um, you told the audience that uh, for a long time people thought you were an idiot. Um, <laughs> and uh, obviously uh, they're not thinking that anymore. But I was wondering how your own role in presentation has changed, maybe going from an evangelist trying to explain the basics and really the broad outline. I guess now people ask you, we believe it, 
but how do we do it, or, or is that not an issue? No, that, that's definitely an issue. We keep going deeper and deeper in the research around it. Uh, today at, at the Bright and Cloudy event, I'm, my talk is on the five steps to zero trust. So we've defined a five-step way for people to actually go about and do this that's understandable and easy to, under, easy to accomplish. And then the next set of research that I'm doing is how you extend uh, zero trust into the cloud to make your, your cloud deployments easier and more secure. So we're constantly trying to push the edge. Uh, yeah, there's still a little bit of education, still a little bit of evangelism evangelization, but a lot of the work that I do is, is helping the actual design of these networks for my clients. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, particularly because the, the move to the cloud is really happening. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And um, it seems like an even tougher challenge to well, control stuff this... which is not in your own control, yeah. but in somebody else's control, right? Yeah, well, that's why this event's called Bright and Cloudy, right? And so... Uh, the cloud is something we've been seeing coming for a long time. There's not good security models, but we have a security model that transfers itself perfectly into the cloud, and that's a, a, a prominent theme of this event as well. Right. Well, as I said, really looking forward. I'll be speaking to you throughout the, the day, and we'll see what you'll be able to teach, what those five steps will actually be. So thanks for the talk, John. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next year. Where are we going to be, you know, because it's always fun to... To, to check the venues. I appreciate you guys not doing it in just a hotel. Okay, no, we'll, we'll, we'll take care to surprise you next year again, okay. John. Thanks very much. Thank you, Jan.